The Royal Navy has formally commissioned HMS Agamemnon, the sixth nuclear-powered Astute-class submarine, marking a significant milestone in the United Kingdom's undersea capabilities. The ceremony took place on September 22, 2025, at BAE Systems Shipyard in barrow in furness and was presided over by King Charles III, who read the commissioning warrant before visiting Barrow Town Hall to grant royal port status to the town. Approximately 500 guests attended, reflecting the importance of both the submarine and the community's long-standing role in sustaining Britain's naval defense industry. The event coincided with the first steel cutting for HMS King George VI, the fourth dreadnought-class submarine, demonstrating the parallel progression of the nation's attack and strategic deterrent programs. This dual milestone underscores Barrow and Furness as a central hub for the UK's nuclear submarine development, highlighting continuity in workforce, industrial expertise, and technological innovation. HMS Agamemnon has been in development for more than a decade, with steel first cut in July 2013 and the vessel formally named in April 2024. The submarine rolled out of Devonshire Dock Hall on October 2, 2024, and was launched the following day. The commissioning in September 2025 concluded more than 12 years of complex construction, during which the program faced numerous challenges. Pandemic-related disruptions, resource allocation to the Dreadnought class program, and the intricacy of the Astute class design contributed to delays, but the Royal Navy has emphasized that the commissioning represents only one stage before the submarine achieves operational readiness. Following the ceremony, HMS Agamemnon will remain at Barrow to undergo final basin trials, systems integration, and preparatory work before beginning sea trials and transferring to HM Naval Base Clyde for full deployment. As the penultimate submarine in the Seven Boat Astute class program, HMS Agamemnon represents the current generation of UK nuclear powered attack submarines, designed to replace the older Trafalgar class boats. The vessel measures approximately 97 metres in length and displaces roughly 7,400 tonnes. Its propulsion system relies on a Rolls-Royce PWR2 pressurized water reactor coupled with pump jet technology, allowing for silent, efficient operation and eliminating the need for refueling during the submarine's service life. Operational endurance is limited primarily by crew capacity and supplies, typically around 90 days, making logistical planning a crucial aspect of extended missions. HMS Agamemnon integrates an advanced suite of sensors and combat systems, including the Thales Sonar 2076 array and CM010 optronic masts, which replace traditional periscopes with modern, high-resolution optical and electronic imaging. Its six 533mm torpedo tubes can carry up to 38 weapons, including Spearfish heavyweight torpedoes and Tomahawk land-attack cruise missiles, offering a strike range of roughly 1,000 miles. The Royal Navy has announced plans to deploy the Tomahawk Block V variant, enhancing in-flight communication and targeting capabilities. The vessel accommodates approximately 98 crew members, with additional capacity for mission-specific personnel. Astute-class submarines, including HMS Agamemnon, perform a wide range of strategic and tactical roles within the Royal Navy. They are tasked with escorting the continuous at-sea deterrent, supporting carrier strike groups, protecting undersea infrastructure, conducting intelligence-gathering operations, and deploying special forces from submerged platforms. Their combination of stealth, sensors, and versatile weaponry provides both sea denial and land attack capabilities, making them critical assets in global maritime operations. The introduction of Agamemnon is particularly timely, as the Royal Navy has faced availability challenges with several of its submarines undergoing extended maintenance or refits. For instance, earlier in 2025, HMS Prince of Wales operated in the Pacific without an accompanying submarine escort due to HMS Anson returning to Clyde, while HMS Ambush and HMS Artful were reportedly inactive for prolonged periods. 
Agamemnon's arrival is expected to enhance fleet flexibility, ensuring more consistent operational readiness across multiple theaters. The commissioning of HMS Agamemnon also serves as a testament to the resilience and capability of the UK's submarine industry. The astute program, while initially encountering design and construction difficulties, has now achieved a steady build rhythm. Expertise in 3D computer-aided design, vertical outfitting, and complex integration solutions has been institutionalized within Barrow and Furnace workforce, ensuring that future submarine programs can build on these lessons. The estimated cost of Agamemnon, approximately £1.533 billion, places it mid-range among the seven astute-class boats, reflecting both the scale and sophistication of contemporary submarine construction. By maintaining production capabilities, investing in new facilities, and training apprentices and graduates, the UK is securing a skilled industrial base capable of supporting successive submarine generations. Royal Port status for Barrow formally acknowledges more than a century of submarine construction in the town, reinforcing its strategic importance in sustaining the nation's nuclear defense infrastructure. In 2024, over 13,500 people were employed in Barrow's defense nuclear sector, with projections for growth as astute construction concludes and dreadnought production accelerates. Beyond immediate operational impact, HMS Agamemnon occupies a transitional role within the Royal Navy's long-term submarine strategy. Strategic planning documents, including the UK's Strategic Defense Review, envisage an expanded fleet of nuclear-powered attack submarines during the 2030s, supplemented by new designs developed under the SSN AUKUS trilateral program. These future submarines are intended to replace the astute class from the late 2030s onward, integrating enhanced technology, longer endurance, and greater interoperability with allied forces. HMS Agamemnon, therefore, links the Royal Navy's current operational capabilities with its forward-looking fleet architecture, ensuring continuity as the service transitions to next-generation designs. In the near term, the submarine will contribute to key operational tasks, including undersea deterrence, fleet escort, intelligence collection, and protection of critical maritime infrastructure. In the medium term, it will play a role in the UK's Indo-Pacific strategy with plans to rotate a nuclear-powered attack submarine to HMAS Stirling in Western Australia beginning in 2027, integrating with Allied naval forces in the region. The ceremony itself highlighted both tradition and innovation, blending the historical legacy of the Royal Navy with cutting-edge technological achievement. HMS Agamemnon carries a battle honors board crafted from oak timbers of a previous vessel bearing the same name, linking contemporary operations to centuries of naval service. The commissioning event reinforced the strategic significance of Barrow and Furness, emphasizing workforce expansion, infrastructure investment, and the continuity of skills essential for sustaining the UK's nuclear submarine programs. At the same time, the simultaneous start of HMS King George VI's construction underscores the nation's commitment to maintaining a credible and capable nuclear deterrent under Operation Relentless, bridging current capabilities with projected defense requirements in the early 2030s. HMS Agamemnon's arrival is both a culmination and a beginning. It closes one chapter of the Astute Class program while providing the foundation for future operational planning, including integration with advanced missile systems, special operations forces, and allied naval activities. Its presence strengthens the Royal Navy's attack submarine fleet, ensuring the United Kingdom can respond effectively to global maritime challenges while preparing for the technological and strategic transitions that will define naval operations over the coming decades. By blending operational capability, industrial continuity, and historical legacy, HMS Agamemnon represents a decisive step in the evolution of the Royal Navy's undersea forces, signaling both the conclusion of one generation and the anticipation of the next.